In this video, I'll be going through a couple of circle geometry questions. The first question here is the situation where you have two points on the circle and a line through the center. So the question says the points negative three, one and one five lie on the circumference of a circle. The center of the circle lies on the line y equals three x take 12, find the equation of the circle. I encourage you to pause the video here and have a go at this yourself before I go through it. So the first thing I like to do with these sorts of questions is to draw a quick uh, sketch or diagram. Uh, this can help with your problem solving and also it's going to help my explanation a little bit. So it doesn't need to be accurate at all, just a quick sketch to see what's going on. So I have a circle, I have a line through the center, whoops, I have a line through the center and I have two points, uh, negative three, one, let's just say that's over here somewhere and one, five. Again, doesn't really need to be that accurate just to give an idea of what's going on. And this is the line uh, y equals 3x plus 12. The first thing I'll point out is uh, the general equation of a circle looks like this. So this is x take a or squared plus y take b or squared equals r squared, where r is the radius and a b is the center. So in order to find the equation of the circle, we need the center and we need the radius. We don't have either of these things. Uh, so we're gonna to have to work out both of them. Firstly, let's say the center is about here and I'm going to call that a B and that lies on that line. Because it lies on this line, we already have a relationship between these two coordinates. Every point on this line needs to satisfy this equation. So if Y equals three X plus 12, then B needs to equal three lots of A plus 12. So I have an equation in terms of B and A relating those two coordinates. And these two points allow me to create another equation in terms of A and B. So hidden in this problem is actually a simultaneous equations question. And I need to go ahead and find the other equation relating A and B. And then I can solve those two equations for A and B. So the way we do this is to say, well, firstly, there are two radii connecting the center to the circumference because of course this is the center, so these are both radii. And we're going to use the distance formula here. Now the distance formula says the distance between two points squared is equal to x2 take x1 squared plus y2 take y1 squared, essentially the Pythagorean theorem, right? So we can find an expression for both of these radii uh, in terms of a and b and then we're going to be able to simplify that down so for this one here i have the points 1 5 and a b so r squared is going to be x2 let's say x2 is a a take 1 all squared plus b take 5 all squared that's going to equal the radius squared and then for the other radius again i have two points i can create another expression in terms of a and b so we can again say r squared is equal to a take this x point, uh, x coordinate. So take negative three all squared plus b take one all squared. That again equals r squared. So just using that distance formula, I now have two expressions that are equal because they're both equal to the radius squared. So I'm going to set these two things equal to each other. So on the left, I'll have this expression this will be a plus three, so take negative three is plus three. a plus three all squared plus b take one all squared equals a take one all squared plus b take five all squared. And now what I need to do is to simplify this down so that I have another equation in terms of a and b. And then I'll be able to solve for a and b. So simplifying this, expanding the brackets out, I have a squared plus 6a plus 9 plus b squared take 2b plus 1 equals a squared uh, take 2a plus 1 plus b squared take 10b plus 25. And then we can do some more simplifying. So there's lots of things we can cancel here. We can cancel the a squareds, effectively subtract one from the other. We can cancel the b squareds, we can cancel the ones so then over here, I've got a 6a. If I add that negative 2a to the left-hand side, I have 8a over here plus 9 equal to negative 10b. If I add that 2b to the right-hand side, this is negative 8b plus 25. 
and then keep simplifying. So subtract that 9 from the right hand side. I'll have 8a equal to negative 8b plus 16. And this is nice because now I can divide everything by 8 and I'll be left with a equal to negative b plus 2. So now I have my two equations and now I can solve these for a and b. Uh, so what I might do is take this value for a and plug it into this equation. So let me just label them just to be really clear. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. We're going to take negative b plus 2 and substitute it into equation 1 where the a is. Okay, so let's just do this down here somewhere. Um, so therefore b is equal to 3 times negative b plus 2. Again, taking this value for a, plugging it in for the a here. So then I have the plus 12. Actually, have I written that correctly? That should be a negative 12. Apologies for that. That should be a negative 12. Okay, and I've written it wrong up there as well. Sorry about that. So this is negative 12. Okay, simplifying for b then, I have b equal to negative 3b plus 6, take 12, and then 4b equal to negative 6, and then b is equal to negative 3 on 2. So I have a value for b, in effect the y coordinate of the center, and now I can solve for a, so plug that back into this second equation. a is equal to negative, negative 3 on 2, so just 3 on 2 plus 2. This is 3.5 or 7 on 2. Okay, so I have my coordinates of my center, and now I also need to find the radius, the length of the radius. So I'll just move this over here actually, and I could just plug that into one of these. So I've already figured out what the, or use the distance formula already in terms of r. So plugging those in there then, we will have r squared equal to uh, a, a was 7 on 2, take 1. So I'm plugging them into this, this equation here, plus b was negative 3 on 2, take 5, and they were squared. So Simplifying further, 7 on 2, take 1, that's uh, 5 on 2, all squared. Uh, negative 3, take 10, 10 on 2, that's negative 13 on 2, all squared. This is like 25 on 4 plus 169 on 4, and this is 194 on 4. And to get a decimal answer for that, let's get a calculator. So 194 on 4, that's 48.5. So that was the radius squared. Okay, so remember what we needed for the equation of our circle. We needed the center and we need the radius squared. So to finish this off then, we can say the equation of the circle, equation of the circle is x take a, the x coordinate of the center, all squared, plus y take the y coordinate, that's a negative, so we say y plus 3 on 2, all squared, equals 48.5. And that is my final answer for that question there. On to the second question, is involving a tangent and the center. So this question says the line 8x plus 15y plus 17 equals 0 is a tangent to a circle with the center 1, 4. Find the equation of the circle. Again, I feel like drawing a bit of a diagram just to get a visual on uh, what I'm doing here. So let's draw a circle and then a set of axes. And I honestly have no idea what this one's going to look like. So let's just get the center approximately correct. So if the center is about here, that needs to be 1, 4, so I guess the well, x-axis would be down here somewhere. So this is y-axis, this is the x-axis, this is 1, 4. And then I have a line 8x plus 15y plus 17 equals 0. So if I convert that to gradient intercept form, this would be y equal to, uh, well let's say 15y equals negative 8x take 17. 
and then y equals negative 8 on 15x take 17 on 15. So the gradient is a negative gradient and the y-intercept is a negative. So that means the line has to be over here somewhere. Um, let's see if I can get this. All right, so no idea if this is right or not, but this might approximately be what it looks like. So this is the line 8x plus 15y plus 17 equals zero. And we need the equation of this circle. We already have the center. We just need the radius. Uh, now, there are a couple ways to do this. The way that I have always done it for some reason is to find the equation of this line here. So the line from the center to the, the tangent line, I've found the equation of this line and then found where those two lines intercept and then found the distance. There's actually a shortcut to all of this uh, that I previously wasn't aware of and it's to use the distance between a line and a point formula. And that formula looks like this. So the distance between the line or a line and a point is the absolute value of a x1, and I'll explain what these letters mean in a minute, a x1 plus b y1 plus c, all over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, so the a's here are the coefficients in this equation written in this form. So a is the coefficient of x, b is the coefficient of y, and c is the constant. And similarly in the, in the denominator here, a and b are the coefficients of x and y. x1 and y1 are the point that you are finding the distance to. Um, so using this formula, we can straight away find the radius uh, just by plugging in the numbers. Uh, so I'll bring this down the bottom a little bit just to give, me a, give myself a bit more room. So uh, as I said, a is the coefficient of x. So we're going to do 8 multiplied by the x coordinate of this point, which is 1, plus b, 15, multiplied by the y coordinate, 4, plus 17. And then this is divided by the square root of uh, 8 squared plus 15 squared. Okay, we could whack that straight into a calculator. So we have in the top line 8 plus 60, 15 times 4 plus 17, divided by the square root of 8 squared plus 15 squared and I get five. Okay, so that is the distance between the center and the tangent. In other words, the radius. So now I have all of the information I need to write my equation of the circle. Remember the general form is x take a, the x coordinate of the center, all squared, plus y take b, the y coordinate of the center equal to the radius squared. Um, so then, the equation of this circle looks like x take 1 all squared plus y take 4 all squared equal to 25, which is 5 squared. So that's my final answer there. And uh, I guess I'll just mention the other method that I was talking about at the start, the much longer method to find this the, the equation of this line here will firstly take the gradient of the tangent and find the negative reciprocal of that to find the gradient of this line. So that would be 15 on 8. Then you find the equation of this line. It's much more involved. And anyways, you, I ended up getting the same answer using that method. Uh, but uh, this seems much more sensible. And so I'd suggest using this formula if you're ever asked to find the equation of a circle given the tangent and the center. And in case I didn't make it clear, this is the uh, perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance between a point and a line. Okay, so a couple of interesting uh, circle geometry questions there. I hope you found that useful. Please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.